Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Miguel Fuentes and today um, I want to share a, a quick topic with you guys and uh, the, today's topic we're going to be talking about what is a man of God? And I heard this term before, uh, you know, if uh, if people from Africa contacted me on Facebook, they would say, hey, man of God, you know, and, you know, like, why are you calling me a man of God for it? <laughs> but... But I give God praise for that because uh, I did some research. It's not the the term "man of God" should be a you know a, a a humility type of title. And um and I'm gonna be reading uh, <clears throat> my, uh, uh Mac not Malachi um uh, Malachi. Uh, chapter six is M I M I C A H. Uh, is one of the minor prophets. If you can find it. There we go. And uh, Micah chapter six, verse eight reads. Actually, let me uh, put this in context here. Um, let me start at verse 7. Will the Lord be pleased with thousands of rams, or with, a sorry, with tens of thousands of rivers of oil? So I give my firstborn my transgression, the fruit of my body for the sin of my soul. He has shown thee, O man, what is good. And, and what doth the Lord require of thee? But to do justly, and to love mercy, and to walk humbly with thy God. The voice of uh, the Lord's voice crieth unto the city, and the man of wisdom shall see thy name. Hear ye the rod, and which has appointed it. Okay, so that's the context of this. Now, <coughs> you see, through you know, um, you know, we, we we see the term "men of God" through, um, you know, Second Kings and First Kings. Um, number one is that the men of God is described. Given to a man that follows God in every way, who obeys His commandments with joy. That's the true uh, definition of what the man of God is. See, I am a man of God because I enjoy following the Lord in every way possible, and in, in obeying the Word of God with joy. Yet, even though I did, you know, sin, I'm not perfect, but I'm walking through His image. I'm walking through His likeness. I'm walking through His Word. You know, I'm not 100% perfect, but I'm striving to that, to that narrow way that leads to life. Amen? And so, as a man of God, you know, God appointed me to be a humble servant. You know, I'm not, you know, <clears throat> you know, I'm not a, a generous giver due to my financial situation, but I can give what the Lord asked me to give, um, through faith. And number two is that our hearts should be full, so our hearts should be fully for the Lord. And as we did the sermon on Second Kings, most of the kings did not fall the ways of the Lord, and because of and because of that, uh, Israel was <clears throat> going to captivity with um, the Assyrians, and then later Judah would go to go to uh, Babylon. And, and God is serious about our relationship with Him. See, we signed the contract once God says, "Here, here is the Ten Commandments. Here is." All the law that that you need to know, in order for us 
to be in right relationship with the Lord. But I'm glad that the, that Jesus Christ paid at the cross, and His blood was a, not only a protection, but also was uh, basically a stamp on our bodies that we belong to the Lord, even though we do make mistakes time, from time to time. That doesn't mean that, you know, God forbid, that doesn't mean we are sinners. We continue on doing sinful things unto the Lord just to keep that seal in us. No, we got to do the way of the Lord, which means that we got to obey the word of God. It's not, it's not a rocket science. It's, it's, this is the lifestyle of the kingdom. Yeah, I understand that, you know, yes, life may be tough, but life gets tougher when you belong to the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, it's, it's never, you know, we serve a God that, that is the same yesterday, today, and forever, okay? God's law does not change. The covenant change, but the law doesn't change. God, well, the Lord Jesus Christ completed the laws and the prophets. But that doesn't mean that we should not obey them. No. We should be obeying the word of God. And, and letting the Holy Spirit minister to us. You know. And God is a God of peace and joy and love. You know. And so. To be a man of God. It's, it's all about being humble. Being a humble servant. It's not about the titles, you know, pastors and such, or prophets and such, no, you know, I, I don't label myself anything, just as a man of God, or a kingdom, or a kingdom man, you know, I belong to the kingdom of God, and so I give God praise for, for allowing, allowing me to study this subject, to share with you guys, because that's part of this channel, is to this is a faith-based Christian channel um, that I do fishing on the side, and then I do, you know, preaching sermons and stuff. And I may share a word while I'm while I'm in the in the creek fishing for who, whatever fish that wants to bite. Amen. So again, thank you guys for watching. May God bless you. May God keep you. I'll see you guys again next time. Bye.